Building a team. Well, at least one team member and maybe more might be visitors, people who come in to fill the time, to occupy the space, to create moments of pleasure, of joy, of interaction, to give you a break. Well, to do that may take preparation. As a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee it should take some preparation because believe it or not, you've been learning about how to be supportive without maybe even knowing that. So we have someone coming in and they don't know what's the same and what's different. It's very helpful to give them a cue sheet, a heads up, an alert that when you come to visit, some things may seem the same and yet some may be different. You could do this in a video, in a written format, maybe with some notes. What we're really talking about is we want them to recognize this isn't a standard friend visit. Even though it may sort of feel like it, we need you to tune in to a couple things that might be different. So we encourage people to think about pipes. Pipes, yeah. I'm gonna give you pipes. Number one, prepare for the visit. Number two, initiate, P-I, initiate. You're gonna initiate the interaction coming into the visit. You're kicking off the visit. Ooh, and you're gonna get the person to participate because participation is really what the visit is about. It's supporting the person in a way that makes sense. Then I'm gonna ask you to evaluate, how's it going? How's it going for you, the visitor, but how's it also going for the person who's living with dementia that you're visiting? Take a look, figure it out. Does it seem like it's working or hmm? And once you've done the evaluation, you will do one of two things. You will sustain that visit, you will keep going and you will keep enjoying the visit and so are they, or you might wanna do a switch up. You might wanna change something so that the visit goes better, or at least you give it an opportunity to go better. And if you do do a switch, you wanna prepare for the switch, initiate, get participation, evaluate, you're getting the idea. This is a cycle that we go through and it doesn't have to be intense at first, but taking the time to recognize, I'm now visiting someone who's a little different. Or if I'm the care partner who's arranging for the visit, I need to prepare the individual. I have them initiate an interaction, maybe with me, and then I'll get them to participate in the interaction with me. And then we'll evaluate, how did that go? And we'll decide, yeah, let's have them visit, or you know what, maybe we'll switch out and maybe I'll come alongside and we'll visit together at first because I'm not sure they're ready. <laughs> now, because we're using this five-step sequence, it also means that there are five things we could switch out and do. We could change where we're doing something. We could change who's involved in the doing. We could change what props, what things do we bring along for a visit? Is it pictures? Is it items? Is it a card? Is it flowers? Is it a book? Who knows what it will be, but I do know props come in handy. And then we have programming. What is it we're gonna do during this visit? Is it just talk? How's talking going? Is it walking? How's walking going? Is it exploring? How's that going? Is it eating? Is that an issue or not? Oh, and then finally, what are some possibilities that might come up during that visit so that when we put our five Ps together with our pipes, we can move together in a positive direction and not one we wish we had never asked for the visit. In other words, with doing the things we're talking about, we optimize the possibilities that we get a good visit for everybody involved and that it establishes a pattern and a routine that we can count on and it builds the team. So taking the time to think about it before it happens and then supporting the happening and then evaluating how did it go will help you figure out, is this a long-term solution or was once enough. You won't know if you don't check it out. And ignoring the information doesn't necessarily make it different. It just means you're missing data. So visits can be wonderful, but they can also cause trouble. 
So do what you can to optimize the positive and minimize the negative by recognizing how important you are in preparing for the visit and making it happen.